that look, one Sunday? Watch this. Look up Lent. And what you're going to discover is, is that Lent is a 40-day day fast. Look it up. Got your phone? Got your computer phone. Lent is a 40-day fast. Hey, uh, can you give me the definition of Lent? Why are you doing that, Lord? Thank you for this day. Thank you for sending for another week. Bless this class and every class tonight that we will see that we can have for us. Open it up to receive knowledge and understanding. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Forty week day pass. Forty days, right? That's on March 2nd this year. Right. Forty days. Everybody agree? Right. But now, if you look from Ash Wednesday to Easter Sunday, guess what? It's 46 days. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I got you. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> but, uh, uh, but I mean, but what it say? But it's 40, 40 week days. days. 40 week day, 40 week pass. Because you do not fast on, on Sunday. Sunday. That's right. You didn't uh, mm -hmm. So you take those six weeks to take the Sundays off. You take 40 minus six. Okay. And what you got? The Lent 40 day pass. That's right. That started in the Catholic Church. Y'all was supposed to be telling me this, not me tell y'all. What, what, yeah, what, what do they not, uh, I'm sorry, uh, not fast on Sunday? There's a reason for that. that that's the Lord's Day. And to make it easy or simple, uh, they did not want to be, the Lord's Day to be a tempting day. I want you some food. Huh? I want to Right, eat. right. And you're hungry. Yeah, right. Now, we need to go more deeper into it. I will. Y'all were supposed to, you wasn't here. Mm -hmm. But they were supposed to look up Lynn and explain this to me. So I'll tell you what. I'm going to give you another week to do it. Well, Don't have it next week. I'm going to start shopping. Shopping. Something. What are we supposed to look up the problem? Just, just everything about. Why do they not? Why, why do they not fast on Sunday? Okay. Tonight we're going to talk about we're studying. Last week we talked about what? Purpose. Purpose. We talked about fasting having a purpose, right? Yes. Today we're going to talk about fasting having a what? Power. Having power. Exactly. All right. Is I'm missing a book, Mr. Sutter? No, sir. Mm -mm. Just take notes. Okay. Okay. You're missing the syllabus. Yeah, okay. 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 I didn't know I'm missing the syllabus. My bad. Okay. Hope this is it. Yep. Give that to me. Y'all have one. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. All right. So, fasting births greater faith, anointing, and boldness. Fasting births, which means it gives power to. Greater faith, this is the name of my church, anointing and boldness. Now, you don't have to write this down because when I give you the booklet, that's going to be in it. Okay? So let me say this don't write none down. It asks questions. But uh, if y'all want this bad enough, I'm going to have your book. I have your book. But I'm gonna teach it first, and I give you a book, okay? Can we can we video? Yeah, I got yeah, yeah we can video that. Okay. So now there will be some times I'll tell you to write something down that's not in the book, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. In Matthew six eighteen, Jesus told his disciples during the Sermon on the Mount, "Thy Father which see in 